What's up everybody, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey and in this video I wanted to talk a little bit about the strategy behind off-ice skill development. And I'm talking about off-ice skill development that you can do from your home. Uh, there are certain skills that um, you can very easily and realistically improve on and develop at home and there are other skills in the game that um, you know you kind of need to be at the rink to be able to work on. So with these skill, uh, skill categories, most of them fall into two broad topics, either technical skills or physical performance. So technical skills, that's what we're talking about, you know, shooting, stick handling, passing, stuff like that. Um, physical performance has more to do with, you know, increasing your speed, increasing your agility, um, ex increasing your explosive power. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time. Some of these are very self-explanatory. So let's go ahead and just kind of take a look at them. But this is the strategy behind um, how we're going to be developing our, our uh, at-home training course. So the, the technical skills that are very realistically able to be improved upon uh, at home are shooting, stick handling, passing technique, so we're not talking a whole lot about you know passing and timing, stuff like that, but passing technique and um, some elements of skating. So to work on your shot, you're going to be, you're going to be need to have some sort of a net uh, and there are a lot of different products that we'll be kind of going through showing you a few of these um, as we go. Um, a backstop, so this is going to save uh, save your house or save the neighbor's house from any any missed pucks or any missed shots. Um, something to shoot at, so some form of target system and uh, a shooting pad unless you want to ruin your stick and obviously you're going to need pucks to be able to uh, work on your shot. So that's some of the stuff that we're going to be going through for from the shooting point of view. I'm going to go ahead and hide those stick handling so obviously for stick handling you're gonna need some sort of uh, either stick handling pucks or balls and there's a lot of really cool products out now that um, are these stick handling pucks that uh, slide really well and very really realistically mimic the feel of ice um, I highly recommend having some sort of a slick surface again unless you want to wreck your stick um, the pucks will slide better on the slick surface and you'll have a, a much better experience with it and then uh, obstacles so there's uh, obstacles that you can you know just kind of get creative and find stuff around the house or there's um, actual training aids and obstacles that will show you that um, you can use to work on different elements of stick handling. So those are kind of the three main things we'll be taking a look at with the stick handling category. Next is passing. Um, <clears throat> with passing you're either going to need a passing rebounder or a friend. Um, other than that you're going to be passing and uh, then chasing your pucks. So either a passing rebounder, we'll show you some of that, and or a friend. Um, <clears throat> also having a special puck and a slick surface will do do a lot of good for you in this case. Um, the slick surface again just helps the puck act a little bit more like a puck acts on the ice and um, you know again these special pucks, there's special pucks out there that are meant for working on uh, you know stick handling and passing stuff like that. So those are some of the things we'll be looking at with passing. And then skating, the main thing that, uh, that you can really kind of work on is um, increasing the leg strength and the, the muscles used during a skating stride. And that's where slide boards come in. <clears throat> now, slide boards are great in and of themselves, but you can actually combine slide boards up with other aspects of uh, you know, hockey training and um, use the slide board while you're working on your passing or use the slide board while you're working on your stick handling or shooting. And so we'll be showing you a little bit of ways, uh, you know, a few ways of, of combining the slide board with other elements and uh, making your training that much more effective. Let's go ahead and jump down into the physical performance side of things. Um, the main aspects of physical performance that are really easy to work on at your house, unless you have some sort of a, um, you know, full-blown home gym type thing, um, you're basically going to be looking at agility, strength, uh, and that's some elements of strength, and uh, explosiveness. So with agility, some of the products we'll be looking at is the dot drill pad, uh, agility ladders, and I apologize for some of these typos I'm just noticing right now. Uh, agility ladders, jump ropes, reaction balls, there's lots of really cool products that you can work on that uh, improves your agility, hand-eye coordination, stuff like that. Strength, again, unless you've got a full-blown home gym, um, you're kind of kind of going to be locked into a few you know a few specific things. Um, wrist rolling is really easy to do at home. That's where you strengthen your wrists and uh, also shooting weighted pucks. So we'll take a look at a couple couple products like that and um, those are kind of the main things that you're going to be doing for your strength unless again unless you have a home gym and uh, you know some sort of full-blown exercise routine that you're working on there. And then explosiveness, um, I'm big on plyos and plyos are very easy to do at home. Um, you can get plyo boxes, plyo hurdles and again slide boards come into play there as well. So those are kind of the main aspects of off-ice development that are very doable and very, um, very, very reasonable to improve on at home um, with minimal equipment. 
So uh, that, that's kind of our home strategy of what we're looking at as we develop our uh, off-ice training course.